Is clover a good solution for a pizza shop? This question comes from a merchant who's considering clover and has given us a couple of scenarios to run by. And so uh, a clover has inventory, right? And in inventory, you have items and you have modifiers. And let's say for pizza, right? So you have small pizza like that, right? And it can be, let's say, fifteen ninety nine, like this, right? And this is your item. And so let's go ahead and put this in our pizza. Here's my pizza, all right? And now let's say there's a bunch of different toppings that you would add to pizza. And Clover gives you different options. One of them is modifiers, right? So you can create toppings here, right? Like ground beef topping, right? Like that. That's a group, okay? Uh, actually, that should be pizza toppings, but we actually already have that, right? So we might have pizza toppings. Let me take a look. P. Here it is. Pizza toppings, right? So pizza cheese, pizza chicken, broccoli, eggplant, right? So slice and like different slices are put into uh, modifiers. But that presents a challenge because if you're running any kind of discounts um, the solutions out there including ours by CSI works will not trigger on modifiers will trigger on items and so the question is you saw me create pizza can we also create toppings on this level topping one right like this and it'll have a fixed price of $1.99, you know, and um, product code we don't need. And then we can put it in categories with pizzas, right? Like that. And so if you're okay setting it up like, like that, because most companies, they use modifiers. And if you do can, like use modifiers like most companies on Clover, then you'll have to look for a discounting solution that specifically works with modifiers. If you can get away without using modifiers, then you can possibly use our solution. So let me just create a couple more of these and see if we can accommodate for different discounts. So we have medium pizza, pizza, Right, and it's also fixed price, and we're gonna put it in our pizza category. And let me give it a price one second. All right, so let's say it's eighteen ninety nine, right, like this. So now you have this medium pizza, and let's go ahead and do large pizza. Large pizza. All right, and that's gonna cost twenty three ninety nine, like that. Right, so we have three pizzas. Now, um, let me show you the mix or match. This is the app that handles discounts uh, and that you can consider for discounts. So we can do, uh, you know, buy two deal. Deal, for example. And there's many ways of setting that up. So first you have the time component, right? I'm just going to say that it's always. And then we have just straight up buy some, get some deals, or we can have combos, right? So combos can also be mixes. Let me start by showing you combos first. So here is going to say that, you know, well, how many components and um, it's just one component, right? Like you can, it's a pizza, that's the component, right? So, and then you can say, all right, so on that one component, people can go and grab uh Where's my pizza? Uh, this pizza, right? And oh, I probably need another small pizza. <laughs> uh, all right, let me add a couple more pizzas. Hold on. All right, we're good. Let me check this out. Mix or match. 
and we have our pizza so we have small pizza one small pizza two small pizza three so and then here we have to say that uh, the quantity is going to be two right so people need to buy two pizzas and here we have options right like we can just say that total price when they buy together is 23.99 like this right and so two pieces bought together become 23.99 let me show you so when we go to the register this is your checkout experience right so let's go to pizza and it's really a combination of two items any three of these so i can do two of these and that triggers a buy two deal uh, we also have some customer assignment going on see it figured out that it needs to discount 7.99 there uh, and then if we delete this pizza the discount goes away um, and we can add like that any combination of these will basically you know have the discount triggered like that and the same can be done with the modifiers as long as they're items but if they're like the toppings as long as they're items but they're, if you are setting up modifiers modifiers work like this i think arguably you may need to consider a different discounting app because modifier is probably a good idea to use but our app csi works app does not work with modifiers so let me show you an example of a modifier. So here's an apple, right? And you put like that. And now here are the modifiers that trigger, right? So that's a normal flow with the uh, modifiers and you can have different modifier groups showing up. So pizza is a perfect example of how it's used. We just don't have discounting capability for modifiers, okay?